What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, your boy, Fashion TV, and tonight I go on my WWE Payback review and highlights. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please full watch the video before you connect with me the right way. Turn on post notifications when I premiere a brand new video or go live on YouTube every Sunday and Thursday. Follow my social media, my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord and threads down below in the description, and let's get started. Now, WWE Payback was a decent show, and I give it a 6 out of 10. Now, WWE Payback was live from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Commentators were Michael Cole and Corey Graves. It says, then, now, forever, together. The WWE video leads us into the show. A video opens up with the with the Payback Premium Live Event showcasing all the matches we've seen on tonight's broadcast. We go live into the PPG Paints Arena to see a big pyro display. Pyro, pyro Technics display. We will kick the night off with a steel cage match. Match between Becky Lynch and Trish Stratus. Okay. Okay, then we get the um um NXT Women's Champion Tiffany Stratton is at ringside to watch this match. She doesn't believe there is enough competition in NXT. So we get the first match. We get the steel case match. Becky Lynch versus Trish Stratus. This match was fantastic. Okay. Um The Bell Rings. And, okay, the bell rings, and this long away grudge match begins. The WWE Hall of Famer um, smirks at the man from across the ring. They constantly approach one another before Trish Stratus makes a break for the door. Becky Lynch pulls her pulls her back and goes for the manhandle slam, but Trish Stratus elbows her away and goes to climb the walls. Becky Lynch pulls her down, so Trish Stratus slaps her. Becky Lynch is irate and bounces Trish Stratus' head off all four corners of the of the ring. Becky Lynch is fired up and talking trash. Trish Stratus goes for a kick, but Becky Lynch blocks it and hits a back exploder. Becky Lynch grabs her and hits a back, back second back, back exploder. Grabs her and hits a Second back exploder, Becky Lynch pulls the Hall of Famer up and hits a third back exploder. After blocking a throw, <coughs> excuse me. After blocking a throw into the cage wall, Becky Lynch goes for the manhandle slam. Trish Stratus counters it and pulls her down by the hair. Trish Stratus starts to climb the cage, but Becky Lynch meets her on the top rope. Becky Lynch knocks her down to to the canvas, but Trish Stratus pulls her down and only. Onto the turnbuckle. Trish Stratus then sends her head first into the wall of the cage. Trish Stratus pulls for the crowd. Um, pulls for, for the crowd. Trish Stratus sends her head first into the cage again and stretches her on the ropes, pulling back on her, pulling back on the hair to inflict more pain. Trish Stratus smashes, smashes Becky Lynch's face into the fence and tells the camera to get up close. Becky Lynch fights back, fights back and hits the ropes, but Trish Stratus counters it with a spot bus for a two count. Trish Stratus runs runs for the door, but Becky Lynch pulls her back and rolls her out for a two count. Trish Stratus quickly throws Becky Lynch down and takes a moment before carving for a two count. Trish Stratus grabs the man and sends her into the cage head first. Trish Stratus then stretches her stretches her against the ropes and fish hooks her mouth. Fish hooks. Fish hooks the mouth. Trish Stratus then rolls Becky Lynch's forehead on the fence. The referee checks on Becky Lynch. Trish Stratus throws Becky Lynch's face, face into the canvas twice, and Trish Stratus, sound, Trish Stratus and side her around the ring, laughing. Becky Lynch pulls herself up, so Trish Stratus grabs her, but Becky Lynch sends her, <coughs> excuse me, sends her into the cage wall. Becky Lynch throws her into the wall a second a second time before lifting her and rambling the Hall of Famer into the wall three times for a, for a near fall. She goes for a disarmor, but Trish Stratus fights it. Trish Stratus sends her into the cage. Once again, Trish Stratus sells her. Matrix bent under a clothesline. <clears throat> but Becky Lynch falls and drop kick, drops a leg on her as Trish Stratus is a stretch. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Both women are down, but slowly gets to their feet and exchange punches. Becky Lynch kicks her in the midsection and sends Trish Stratus heads first into the cage wall. Becky Lynch goes between the ropes, and they are both closed in against the cage wall. They go back and forth, bouncing each other off the wall before Becky Lynch goes wild and bounces Trish Stratus. Bounces Trish Stratus off the wall at least a dozen times. Becky Lynch kicks her before laying her over the top rope. Becky Lynch comes off the top rope with a diving leg drop for their fall. Um, <clears throat> Becky Lynch attacks her. Yeah, Becky Lynch attacks her and with kicks and starts to climb. But Trish Stratus pulls her feet out from under the out on her out from under her. Trish Stratus goes for the stratosphere but Becky Lynch holds the ropes. Becky Lynch Becky it says Beck but Becky Lynch holds the ropes. Trish Stratus slips up and they start exchanging blows. <clears throat> Trish Stratus climbs over Becky Lynch into the top top of the cage. Excuse me. Trish Stratus knocks knocks her down to the canvas. But Becky Lynch pops up and pulls her down. Trish Stratus fights her but Becky Lynch pulls her down and hits a power bomb for a near fall. Trish Stratus, Trish Stratus has a big lump on her forehead. Um, the crowd chants, this is awesome. Becky Lynch goes for the manhandle slam, but Trish Stratus elbows out and sends her into the cage. Trish Stratus kicks her in the midsection. Hits the widow's peak, made famous, <coughs> made famous by WWE legend. Victoria and picks up a near fall. That well, that well on Trish Rice's head is turning black and blue. Trish Rice furiously bounces back in his face off the mat and sets up for the Shrider's fashion. But Becky Lynch fights out and hits Lita Swiss of Fade for a near fall. Becky Lynch sets Trish Rice up and goes to the top rope. Becky Lynch jumps, but Trish Rice moves. Becky Lynch may have tweaked her knee. Trish Rice then hits Shrider's fashion for a near fall. Shrider's cannot believe it. Trish Stratus is furious and kicks away at Becky Lynch. Trish Stratus starts to climb the cage, but Becky Lynch pops up and grabs her ankle. Trish Stratus nearly goes over the top, but Becky Lynch pulls her down to the top rope. Becky Lynch stands on the top rope and sets her up for a manhandle slam, but Trish Stratus elbows, her, elbows out. Trish Stratus in his Stratus fashion off the top rope for a near fall. Trish Stratus' forehead looks really, looks really rough. <coughs> Excuse me. Trish Stratus begins to climb the cage wall, but Becky Lynch quickly scales the cage. They both are sitting on top, on top the top of the rope. They exchange blows on top of the cage before Trish Stratus knocks her over the canvas. Trish Stratus is entirely over the cage, but Becky Lynch just barely makes it up. There, there's a, there and pull her back. Trish Stratus they are trapped in the tree trails of the cage. Becky Lynch knocks her back, and Trish Stratus hangs. Upside down before I hangs upside down above the ringside area. <clears throat> Excuse me. Becky Lynch managed to pull her back and turns her around on the top of the cage. Standing on the top of the cage, Becky Lynch hits Trish Rice with a superplex back into the ring. Becky Lynch takes a moment to recover before putting in putting an arm on Trish Rice for their fall. The crowd chants this is awesome again. Becky Lynch pours herself up. Starts to climb the cage. Becky Lynch puts a leg over the top. Trish Stratus begins crawling to the door. So Becky Lynch climbs down and grabs her ankle. And she realizes Trish Stratus will beat her out of the cage. Zoe starts appears from appears out of nowhere and grabs Trish Stratus to try to pull her out. Becky Lynch rips Trish Stratus away from her. So Zoe starts slams the door onto Becky Lynch's face. Trish Stratus rolls Becky Lynch up for a near fall. Becky Lynch does a chick kick and hits a man on the sound, but Zoe Stars breaks up the pin. Becky Lynch closes the door and tries Zoe Stars in there. Um, Zoe Stars knocks Becky Lynch down and tells Trish Stratus to climb. Becky Lynch starts. Becky Lynch hits Zoe Stars with a man on the sound and climbs the cage to grab Trish Stratus down. Becky, yeah, Becky Lynch hits a man on the sound on the WWE Hall of Famer off the top rope and covers her. The man is viciously inside the still cage. The winner of the match, Becky Lynch. This was a good, this match, this this match was good. Okay, an emotional Becky Lynch goes 
of uh, goes up the ramp and sa- signs an autograph for a fan. Becky Lynch puts an arm up in the red three and walks off. Okay, then <clears throat> sorry. In the ring, Zoe starts helps Trish Stratus, uh, but Trish Stratus pulls pulls away. Trish Stratus is not happy with her protege. Zoe starts grabs her, but Becky Lynch swings and misses the slap. Trish Stratus goes t- to kick her out of the ring, but Zoe starts shuts the door inside. Shuts the door inside. Uh, instead, Zoe starts throwing the Trish Stratus and hits the Z three sixty on on her mentor. Zoe starts rips. Rips off her. Thank you, Trish. Sure, and throws it at throws it on her. Zoe starts then walks off. Okay, let's move on. That was a good steel cage match. <coughs> Excuse me. Video package. Um, Shinsuke Nakamura threatened Seth threatened Seth freaking Rollins. WWE legend John Cena, the host of WWE Payback, event makes his entrance to a massive reaction. Cena gets in the ring. In, gets in the ring, in the ring, announces him as the greatest of all time. Cena welcomes Pittsburgh to payback and puts over the first match. In 20 years, he's done a lot of things. He's been the first match, the last match, the champ, the challenger, a guest, a fan, a doctor, and prototype, prototype, but he never been a host. Cena wasn't going to pass up <clears throat> being here tonight. His job, his job as a host is to make tonight special. There is no better way to make the night special than to be the special guest referee for a match he had his eyes on for a while. L.A. Knight versus The Miz. The Miz makes his way to the ring. Miz is not happy. He would expect this from L.A. Knight, but not John Cena. Miz says Cena is painting, painting to the audience. <coughs> Excuse me. They may say Cena is the greatest of all time, but Miz thinks he sucks as a host. Cena says this is his first time as a host, while Miz has a lot of experience. Does Miz have any advice? Miz tells him not to make himself a special guest referee in his match. Cena says that was his one idea. <clears throat> Anything else? Miz says if he's asked to be a merman, mer, 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 marine, Man and Barbie, he should say no. Cena says he doesn't like Miz, but he respects him. Miz says he's the greatest wrestling host of all time. Miz got involved and had two matches. Also, Miz wore a ten thousand dollar suit at WrestleMania. Cena is nearly fifty and dressed like a Teddy Teller, Teller Toby, Teller Toby. Cena says he needs to take control. Like being the special guest referee for Miz match. The crowd roars loudly, but Miz raised a hand to signals that their mouth goes goes should go shut. Miz says Cena doesn't even have a referee shirt, but someone immediately hands one to Cena. Cena makes himself the special guest referee. Miz says no and Cena says, Yeah. LA Knight makes his interest to a massive reaction. So we get the Miz versus LA Knight. Special guest referee John Cena. This was the, this is the worst match of the night, and that's all I gotta say. That was the worst match of the night. I take a sip of my wine because this was the worst match of the night. A loud LA LA night chant fires up while the Miz gets on the apron to protest, but the crowd chants "Tiny, you know what?" Miz takes his time getting into the ring. And Cena calls for the bell to start the match. Miz immediately rolls out of the ring. LA, LA Knight opens the ropes to let Miz back in. Miz waves off their match and starts to head to the back. LA Knight chases him and punches Miz into the ring. LA Knight takes him down and punches away at him. Miz quickly elbows him back and they begin to exchange punches. LA Knight comes back out, comes back, comes out on top, sending Miz into the ropes. For a, for for a back elbow, L.A. Knight hits a suplex but puts Miz to the top rope. Miz fights fights a suplex and gives L.A. Knight a front suplex off the middle rope. Miz comes off the top rope in a diamond axe handle. Miz puts L.A. Knight against the ropes and chops the chest. L.A. Knight reverses a whip and hits a scoop slam. 
I'm going to see his state school power slam. LA Knight Miles Miz and punches away at him. Miz gets out of a suplex and tries for a score question finale. LA Knight fights out and goes for the BFT, but Miz goes, gets out of the ring. LA Knight quickly takes him out with a baseball slide. L.A. Knight bounces Miz off and, and steps before bouncing him off the commentary table many times. L.A. Knight gets in the ring to break the referee Cena's count, but he goes back outside. The Miz pulls L.A. Knight face first into the commentary table. Miz mocks the yeah and bounces L.A. Knight off the barricade a few times. Miz gets in the ring and touches John Cena. Miz goes outside and charge. But LA Knight hits a back body drop into the timekeeper's area. LA Knight sends him over the barricade and, and leaves off the barricade with a diamond clothesline. LA Knight gets Miz in the in the, in the ring and Miz attacks him, kicking him down in the corner. Miz chokes LA Knight with his boot until John Cena rips him away. Cena doesn't want to, want to disqualify the Miz. LA Knight pops out of pops out of the corner and close out Miz down. L.A. Knight stomps away at Miz and chokes him with his boot. Cena pulls L.A. Knight away, but L.A. Knight sidesteps him and L.A. Knight chokes Miz again, so Cena rips him away. L.A. Knight and Cena go face to face. L.A. Knight sends, says pull, he'll put John Cena down any day. Miz attacks L.A. Knight from behind and stomps him. Miz chokes L.A. Knight on the middle rope until Cena admolish him. L.A. Knight goes for the second rope, but Miz sweeps the feet. And he is a long blower for a two count. Um, Miz supplies a chin lock to a mega star. <clears throat> LA Knight fights out, but Miz quickly drops him on the apron. Miz then pulls him down on the apron and mocks and mocks LA Knight. Miz gets gets LA Knight back into the ring and starts up the starts up it it kicks. LA Knight fights back and hits a back suplex bomb. L.A. Knight slowly gets to his feet and punches away at Miz before knocking him down. L.A. Knight sends him sends him to the corner and hits a net breaker. L.A. Knight goes to the man, to the middle rope and hits a diving bulldog. L.A. Knight hits the ropes and hits a running kick to send to kick to the side of the head for a near fall. L.A. Knight stomps away at Miz in the, in the corner and connects with a running knee to the face. L.A. Knight lifts Miz, lifts Miz, but Miz slides, slides off and goes for a skull crush finale. L.A. Knight fights out and goes for a sunset flip, but Miz gets out. Miz hits a DDT into a kneeling, kneeling DDT for a near fall. <coughs> Excuse me. Miz turns the crowd and signals for the end. L.A. Knight slides out of the cross, skull crush finale and rolls him up. John Cena counts 1-2. Miz kicks out. L.A. Knight avoids Miz. But attended corner clothesline and hits a twisting DDT for near fall. Miz kicks LA Knight away and hits a jawbreaker. LA Knight lifts him, but Miz rolls him up and grabs the ropes. Cena knows <clears throat> Cena noticing kicks Miz's hand away. Miz gets in Cena's face. Cena tells him never to take the low low road. LA Knight goes with a BFT, but Miz gets out of it. Miz ducks and LA Knight nearly hits Cena. Miz hits LA Knight with the skull crush finale for a near fall. Miz cannot believe it. Miz sets up for a five knuckle shuffle to mark Cena. <clears throat> LA Knight kips up and hits a power slam. LA Knight hits an elbow drop with threat tracks, followed by, followed by a blunt for Sharma for the win. The winner of the match, LA Knight. This was the worst match of the night. L.A. Knight celebrates and meets John Cena up on the ramp. Cena has a Lex Luger moment where he wears referee shirt. It's too tight. <clears throat> Excuse me. L.A. Knight, I'm sorry. Cena does does get it off. Um, Cena and L.A. Knight go face to face. Cena exchanges his hand and says it's it's a show of respect. L.A. Knight shakes shakes hands with. John with the WWE legend John Cena, with the WWE legend Cena walks off and LA Knight continues to celebrate. That was the worst match. <coughs> Excuse me. That was the worst match of the night. Okay, members of the Pittsburgh Steelers 
of the NFL are, are at ringside with a Steelers brand WWE title part of WWE license partnership with the NFL. Video package United States Champion. Ray Mysterio comes out with the LWO and hugs them before going forward without them. <coughs> Excuse me. Mysterio is wearing a vest he wore when he was teaming with his son. Dominic Mysterio. <coughs> Excuse me. Dominic's face is ex exiled on his vest. Okay, so we get the United States Championship match. Austin Theory versus Rey Mysterio. This was a boring match. That yeah, that this match was boring. Holy cow, this match was boring. Sammy Toast Corn sponsors this match. The bell rings and Theory quickly pounds Mysterio to the corner and shoulders him. They send him into the ropes, but Mysterio drops and kicks him in the head. Theory sends him to the corner, but Mysterio turns him around and starts to 10 punches. Mysterio goes to slingshot him over, slingshot over him, but Theory catches him. Theory pulls him into the ropes and hits a clothesline. Theory takes Theory takes Mysterio down for down to the, to the corner and hits a sling, sling, slingshot stump for slingshot stump. Theory follows up with a fisherman suplex for a two count. Theory hits another fisherman suplex and Masha de Guerrero. Theory takes it to Mysterio and puts him in the headlight before whipping him around and slamming him down for for a two count. Theory applies a weird chin lock. Mysterio fights up and elbows him. Theory shoves Mysterio into the middle rope and chokes him for chokes him on it. Um, Theory punches Mysterio back in and whips him hard, starting him first into the turnbuckle. Theory puts Mysterio on the top rope and punches him. Theory tries to rip the Luchador's mask off Mysterio, but Mysterio fights him off with some elbows. Mysterio then takes him out with a moon saw block. Mysterio takes it to takes it to to nothing. Takes it to during his a head sister take over out of the ring. Mysterio then slides under the bottom rope and hits a tornado DDT on the floor. Mysterio puts Theory in the ring and hits a seated Santon off the top rope for a new, for a two count. Theory tries to fight back, but Mysterio twists him into the position for six one nine. Mysterio goes for a six one nine, but Theory avoids it. Mysterio tries a springboard off the middle of the turnbuckle, but Theory catches him and tore a rack, in a torture rack and spins him into a bomb for a two count. Theory, theory signals for the for the end. Mysterio avoids a town down and his a side step side step up a security. <clears throat> theory Yeah, Theory knocks him back and and hits a rolling thunder drop kick. Mysterio pops up and hits a drop kick as well. They both slowly go to their feet, exchanging, exchanging blows. Mysterio soon hits a head scissors in positions and hits a 619. Mysterio goes for a slingshot splash, but Theory gets his knees up. Theory sets up for the A-town down, but Mysterio counters into a victory roll for the win. The winner and still your United States champion, Ray Mysterio. This match was boring. <clears throat> Mysterio celebrates. <coughs> Excuse me. Ray, Ray Mysterio celebrates with the LWO on, on the stage. There he is all right in the ring. Okay, let's move on. Cena, Captain Kelly is backstage with Becky Lynch. Okay, who's next for the main for the man? NXT Women's Champion Tiffany Stratton immediately interrupts and says they go off on the wrong foot. <coughs> Excuse me. When she said she be better NXT Women's Champion than anyone in history, she said Becky Lynch was the former NXT Women's Champion <coughs> when she wasn't. She was Tiffany Stratton is here to offer a dangerous apology. This dangerous apology. Becky Lynch tells her to worry about her title match defense on Tuesday. Okay, video package still city, still city street fight. Okay, so we get the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champion, still city street fight. Kevin Owens the same Zayn versus the Judgment Day Finn Balor and Damian Priest. This was the best match of the night right here.
Oh man, but but like I said, this was the best street fight match of the night. But you got to give credit to Dominic Mysterio. Dominic Mysterio was the MVP. He saved um, Damian Priest and Finn Balor, and he and Dominic Mysterio saved Rhea Ripley. So so the MVP goes to Dominic Mysterio. But this was the best match of the night right here. I had to take a sip of my water. But anyway, the bell rings and a brawl breaks out. Kevin Owens and Damian Priest fights to the ringside and then up then up the ramp. Sami Zayn focused on Finn Balor at ringside. Kevin Owens knocks Damian Priest back and bounces him off the metal barricade. Sami Zayn bounces Finn Balor and puts him in the ring. Sami Zayn then throws steals, three steel chairs into the ring. Finn Balor ex- exits the ring. Doing this and cracks him in the head with a candlestick. Finn Balor gets a few candlesticks out from under the ring. Finn Balor pulls out a bucket with a terrible towel in it. Finn Balor swings it around and before stumping it. Finn, I mean, Kevin Owens clothes on Finn Balor at race high. Kevin Owens takes it to Finn Balor until Damien Priest joins in, join, joins in to help. Finn Balor and David Priest double team Kevin Owens until Sami Zayn them takes them out with a somersault sent on. Okay. <clears throat> the tag teams, the tag champions each grab a garbage can. They hit David Priest with they with they with did a bit. Kevin Owens yeah, Kevin Owens gets in the ring with Finn Balor and rips his shirt off to reveal a picture of the IRA to a to the of the of the late great Wrestling legend Terry Funk. They put a garbage can and garbage can over Finn Balor's head and hit it with a candlestick. Um, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn celebrate in the ring. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn get on the apron and get get to the crowd fired up. They they then pull a table out from under the ring to a huge ovation and sit sit up at ringside. They go after Damien Priest, but Damien Priest fights the champions off. Damien Priest wrecks the garbage can on Sami Zayn's back and ward it at Kevin, Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens fights back, but Damien Priest cuts him off. Finn Balor comes around the corner and hits Sami Zayn in the mix session with a steel chair. Um, Finn Balor and Damien Priest... <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. Finn Balor and Damien Priest gets Kevin Owens in the ring and hits him with the Hits him in the mid session a few times, but they still chair. Demi Priest holds Kevin Owens up, and Finn Balor hits him in the head with the garbage can. Sami Zayn runs in to help, but Finn Balor and Demi Priest DC takes him down. Finn Balor stands on the second rope and turns the crowd. Finn Balor stumps Sami Zayn out of the ring. Finn Balor elbows Sami Zayn in the head. Demi Priest throws a lot of chairs, throws a lot of chairs into the ring and makes. An island of chairs in the ring. Finn Balor attacks Sami Zayn against the commentator table. In the ring, Kevin Owens attacks Demi Freeze and beats him down. Finn Balor runs in and hits Kevin Owens with the chair. Sami Zayn hits Finn Balor with a chair and smashes it on the back, his back, to knock him out of the ring. Demi Freeze and Finn Balor climb over the top, climb over the barricade and walks into the crowd. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn go after them. And bounces them off some crates. Suddenly, NXT North America champion, Dirty Dominic Mysterio, blindsides the undisputed WWE Tag Team champions. The Judgment Day stands tall and turns the crowd. Finn Balor and Damian Priest discuss strategy before turning turning and seeing Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens wearing the Pittsburgh Penguins jersey. They are wearing Cindy, Cindy Crosby and Mario. Lemmy Ux jersey. Kevin Owens and Kevin Owens is bleeding pro- falsely from the from his forehead. <clears throat> and and Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn take out Finn Balor, Damian Priest with the hockey stick and beats Mysterio to the back. A crimson mask is the best way for. <coughs> Sorry. A crimson mask is the best way. For Kevin Owens to pay tribute to Terry Funk. The referee quickly grabs him and starts to clean him up. Sami Zayn goes to slam Finn Balor on the chair, island in the ring, but Demi Freeze runs in. Kevin Owens merges, 
reemerge and pulls Demi Freeze down Demi Freeze down before sending him into the still steps. Um Sami Zayn then hits Finn Balor with a blue thunder bomb onto the chairs for near fall. The crowd chants, This is awesome. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn set up for chairs. Seat to seat. Demi Freeze attacks them and gives uh Sami Zayn a broken arrow onto the chairs. Kevin Owens absorbs some attacks and challenges them to give him more. They send Kevin Owens over the commentary table and smashes his face with the garbage can. Then they then <coughs> excuse me, they then close lines him into the crowd. They beat Kevin Owens through the crowd. Kevin Owens f- starts to fight back, but he's overwhelmed. Sami Zayn appears and helps out his partner. They fight over to kick off show set. Finn Balor needs, needs Kevin Owens in the midsection, but Sami Zayn soon bounces him off the desk. Sami Zayn stands on the desk and hits a somersault. Sent time on to Demi Freeze and Finn Balor on the, on the concrete. <clears throat> Dominic Mysterio returns and attacks the tag champions. Kevin Owens attacks Mysterio and sends him head first into the crate. Kevin Owens clears off the production table and sends Mysterio into the into a metal into a metal diver door divider. Kevin Owens lays Mysterio on the production table and climbs up to the Top of the stairwell. Looking over the entrance, Kevin Owens hits and nearly overshots, <coughs> overshots Mysterio with a swanton bomb through the table on the concrete cover, concrete cover by a thin carpet on the rail. That was a good spot right there. I love that spot. Back in the ring, are Sami Zayn and Finn Balor. Sami Zayn hits and explodes into the turnbuckle. Sami Zayn sets up for a haluba kick, but Demi Freeze throws a garbage can. Into his face. <coughs> Excuse me. Finn Balor covers for a near fall. Finn Balor and, and Demi Freeze talk strategy. Demi Freeze pulls his strap down and sets up for a curfew bomb. Sami Zayn slides off and knocks Finn Balor off the top rope. Sami Zayn knocks Demi Freeze back and hits and explodes into a into the corner. Sami Zayn knocks Finn Balor off the apron through the table at ringside. Sami Zayn gets fired up and charges, but Demi Freeze grabs him by the throat. Demi Freeze, let's go as Kevin Owens gets in the ring. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Kevin Owens hits Demi Freeze with a stunner. Sami Zayn follows up with the Huluva kick and covers, but JG Madar pulls Sami Zayn out of the ring. Kevin Owens, Kevin Owens recently turns to Madar inside out with the close line and hits a spine buster. Onto the commentary table, which doesn't break. Kevin Owens obviously at, around ringside. All of a sudden, Women's World Champion Rhea Ripley spears Kevin Owens to the barricade. Wow. <coughs> Excuse me. Sami Zayn. <coughs> Sorry about that. What I was trying to say was, Sami Zayn and Finn Balor slowly crawl back into the ring. Finn Balor hits Sami Zayn with a sling blade. And follows up with a woo drop kick in the corner. Finn Balor sends the top, has the top rope with a coup de grace, but Sami Zayn moves. Sami Zayn hits in the splutter into the corner and rips his t shirt off. Sami Zayn hits Finn Balor with a huluba kick and covers for Dominic Mysterio hits Sami Zayn in the head with a with a money in the bank briefcase. Sami Zayn falls over and Finn Balor puts an arm on Sami Zayn to pick up the win. And we have new tag team champions. The winner by pinfall and your new undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and, da- and Damian Priest. This was the best match of the night right here. Now the Judgment Day is holding. Now, yeah, now the Judgment Day is holding all the gold. <clears throat> the Judgment Day celebrates big time. <coughs> Excuse me. Every every one of them now has has gold and money in the bank briefcase. The Judgment Day stands tall on the ramp as fireworks goes off. Demi Freeze shouts, shouts the judgment day runs WWE. Dominic Mysterio says, and don't you forget don't you forget it. Okay, let's move on. That was the best match of the night. Video package, Cody Rose hypes video. So we get the the nightmare Cody Rose appears on the Grayson Waller effect. Let me take a sip of my water.
Okay, here we go. The Grayson Waller fest is, is set up in the ring. Grayson Waller welcomes the crowd to what could possibly be the greatest Grayson Waller effect of all time. It's fitting th that this is happening in this city. His guests, his guests in the city of Pittsburgh have something in common. They both have low reading scores. Grayson Waller then introduced the American Nightmare, Cody Rose, to the ring. Wrestling has more than one royal family. The American Nightmare, Cody Rose, comes out to a huge reaction. Cody Rose says, so Pittsburgh, Grayson Waller, so Pittsburgh, Wall Grayson Waller cuts him off and says no one cares about what Pittsburgh wants to talk about. All that matters is what Grayson Waller wants to talk about. Grayson Waller wants to ask Cody Rose about his big announcement. Okay, Cody Rose's years has had so many ups and downs. Grayson Waller appreciate Cody Rose begging to be on his show for the Grayson Waller rub. <clears throat> big things are big things are in store with Cody Rose and Grayson Waller calls him kid. Cody Rose says Waller is a recent gent graduate from hip toss class. Grayson Waller has probably studied some of the great WWE talk shows. Cody Rose says they could brawl. Cody Rose knocks over the furniture and hits with the hits him with the crossroads. Is that what the people want? Um, the crowd goes crazy. Cody Rose says no, no more subversions. <clears throat> Cody Rose wanted to be on this show and will give him a big scoop. Cody Rose has Waller if he watches Raw and NXT, and Waller says he does. Uh, does Waller watch SmackDown? Waller says he does. He says the biggest star on the show, so he watches his stuff. Cody Rose says SmackDown is intriguing. There, there was a Raw that there was one that in, that needed to be right. Um, Cody Rose cashes in every polit pol political clip chip he had to make this happen. The newest member of the Monday Night Raw roster, main event Jay Uso. The crowd popped for that. And Jay Uso, you better get your um your get back on Jimmy Uso, man. And that's all I gotta say. Jimmy Uso makes it I mean Jay Uso makes his return to WWE a big ovation. Jay Uso gets in the ring and posts for the crowd. Grayson Wallace sarcastically welcomes him back and says he's been gone for two weeks. Cody Ross has left the ring and is standing at the top of the ramp, Grayson Waller asks Jay Fields about being on Raw. Grayson Waller says he's been a twin his whole life and has been surrounded by the bloodline. And UC Chant picks up. Grayson Waller says he is individual. Jay Uso has achieved absolutely nothing. Cody Wall says nice things about Jay Uso won't make him a big deal. <clears throat> if anyone if anyone needs the Grayson Waller rub, Jay Uso super kicks him down and knocks over one of the plants. Cody Rose watches from the stage and looks satisfied. Jay Uso stands on the middle yeah, Jay Uso stands on the middle rope. <clears throat> and the entire arena is following his arm, waving wild. Like I said earlier, just like I said just now, Jay Uso, you better get your you better get your get back on Jimmy Uso. And that's all I got to say. My favorite WWE superstar is Jay Uso now. And that, that's just my opinion. So we get a video package. Women's World Champion. Women's World Championship. So we get the Women's World Championship. With Crow Rodriguez versus Ray Ripley. This was a decent match. Th this match was decent. But before I start reading this match. Let me take a sip of more water. Oh, excuse me. This this match was decent. The bell rings and they lock up. They tussle around the ring. And Ripley turns her in the corner. Ripley is wearing an outfit that pays tribute to China. They give her give a rough break. So Ripley shoves her. Rodriguez shoves her back. Ripley hooks it's a headlock. Rodriguez tries to whip her off, but Ripley holds on. Rodriguez hits lips her, but Ripley fights it. Ripley, I mean, while Quell Rodriguez 
absorbs a short tackle and brushes the champion off. Ripley talks a little trash. Ripley hits, uh, Rodriguez hits the ropes and hits a shoulder tackle, but Ripley absorbs, absorbs, absorbs and shakes it off. They get in each other's faces. Ripley pulls on on the hair, so Rodriguez lifts her, uh, lifts her. Ripley slides off, but Rodriguez soon shoulder tackles her. Ripley immediately rolls out of the ring to recover and stops the momentum. Rodriguez reaches her. Reaches her and grabs Ripley by the hair. Ripley knocks her back and tries to ring, but uh, Rodriguez shoulders shoulder tackles her again. Uh, Rodriguez attacks her in the corner. Rhea Ripley fights back and tries for a whip, but Rodriguez puts the, puts the brakes on. Ripley clubs clubs her with some close ons, but Rodriguez doesn't go down. Rodriguez um uh, Rodriguez takes her down and. Hits a scoop slam while Ripley soon gets to her feet and grabs a handful of hair while tripping her. Ripley hits a vicious drop kick to the face before mouthing her and punching her. Ripley is bleeding from her nose. <clears throat> Ripley chokes her on a turnbuckle and talks trash about Liv Morgan. <clears throat> Ripley kicks Ripley kicks Rodriguez and close the back. Before posing, Ripley jumps on the back and slaps the back of her head. Rodriguez tries to fight back, but Ripley grounds her for a one count. Ripley hits a snap mirror and kicks her in the spine. Ripley applies a grounded, ambitional stretch. The right, the all right, the all right, Decatur stretches her until Rodriguez fights up. Yeah, Ripley quickly knees her in the face and a few times before applying a face lock. Rodriguez piles out and throws Ripley across the ring. Rodriguez goes out the rear Ripley, but Ripley short shorts of kicks the ropes to into her neck. A let a light let's go, mommy. Chant picks up. <clears throat> Rodriguez fights back, but Rhea Ripley floors her with a dropkick. Ripley viciously attacks Rodriguez on the mat. Ripley continue, continues to talk trash until Rodriguez grabs her by the throat and hits a pair of clotheslines. Ripley ducks a few strikes, but, Re but Rodriguez soon hits her and hits her with a club to the back of the head. <clears throat> Excuse me. Rodriguez hits a follow-away slam and avalanches her in the corner. Rodriguez calm, climbs the ropes, but Ripley sweeps the feet. R Ripley ties the legs on the turnbuckles and climbs the ropes, but Rodriguez kicks Ripley's feet out. Ripley is hanging over the top rope. Rodriguez follows her with a delayed vertical suplex. Rodriguez hits a slingshot, spinning cross screw elbow, drop for a two count. Rodriguez sets up for the Tajero bomb, but Ripley gets out. <clears throat> Ripley Riley takes her down and hits a vicious running knee for a two count. Ripley cannot believe it. Ray Ripley sets up for a rip tie, but Rodriguez gets out and slams her on, slams her on, slams her on her face. Rodriguez goes for an alley hoop into a rope. <clears throat> Excuse me, but it is clunky because she barely gets her up. Rodriguez close close on her down for a near fall. Rodriguez powers Ripley to the corner and shoulders her. Rodriguez puts her on the top rope, but Ripley head butts her down. Ray Ripley chops blocks Rodriguez bad knee. Ripley then applies a prim sock. Rodriguez twists out and rolls her up for a two count. Ripley charged, but she hits the ring post. Shoulder first instead. Rodriguez power slams Ripley down, but she can't follow up because her knee, her knee is too hurt. <clears throat> Both women are down. They slowly get up and charge, charge blows. Um, <clears throat> Rodriguez gets to the better of her and knocks Ripley out of the ring. Ripley, <clears throat> Rodriguez heads to ring side, but Ripley chop blocks the knee. <clears throat> Excuse me. Rodriguez fights back and, and gets 
Ripley in in a power bomb position while Rhea smashes her spine in the in the ring post before ripping her into the barricade. Rodriguez gets in the ring to break the count. Rodriguez then law darts Ripley's shoulder into the post. <clears throat> Excuse me. North American NXT North American champion Dirty Dominic Mysterio comes to ringside and get in the ring. <clears throat> Excuse me. Rodriguez grabs Mysterio and hits him with a running power slam. Ripley quickly kicks Rodriguez in the back in the bad knee. And and then kicks her in the head. Ripley hits the reptile for the win. The winner, the winner, and still your and still your women's world champion, Rhea Ripley. This match was decent, but the MVP, but 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 the MVP goes to Dominic Mysterio. So Dominic Mysterio saves Rhea Ripley again. Okay, a nervous. I'm sorry. Excuse me. A nervous John Cena is wearing a bad. Gray coat, a pink bounty. As the host is giving himself jobs has never had. <coughs> Excuse me. He, now he needs an interview. He lay he lands from South Paul Championship Wrestling. <coughs> Excuse me. Cena introduced the new undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest. <coughs> Excuse me. Finn Balor says the champ are here. The champs are here. Cena says they weren't. They weren't on the same page recently, but now they champions. Damien Priest says families fought, but they, but they the Judgment Day and they, and they rule in the world. <coughs> Cena says this is tougher than it looks, and throws it back to the commentary team. WWE Fastlane is coming on Saturday, October 7th. Video package is World Heavyweight Championship. Okay. <clears throat> World Heavyweight Championship, that freaking violence makes its way to the ring. The crowd loudly sings his song for a while, and he takes a bow. Okay. Shinsuke Nakamura has a comic book thing, video play, talking about how Seth Rollins was was a great warrior, and now now will be put down. So we'll get the main event of the evening. So we'll get the World Heavyweight Championship, Seth freaking Rollins versus Shinsuke Nakamura. WWE Hall of Famer, the great Muda, is at ringside for this match. And this match, this match was, this match was pretty good. Okay, this match was pretty good. Okay. They circled the ring and constantly approached each other. The crowd is loud for this match, and they haven't even touched yet. They soon lock up, and Seth Rollins goes for a race lock. Nakamura turns it, but Rollins twists this out and applies and applies a hammerlock. Nakamura hit. Oh, I'm sorry. Nakamura fights it and twists this out with a car wheel. Nakamura hits hits a headlock takeover, but Seth Rollins quickly pops out. They they. As they are a stalemate. <clears throat> they circle the ring again and go for a test of strength. Seth Rollins goes for a to- drop to hold, but Nakamura falls back. Rather than for Rollins applies the side headlock. Nakamura fights up and backs him in the ropes. Nakamura physical- physically rubs the injured back and smacks it. Nakamura backs up and says, come on. Rollins charges so Nakamura goes for a German suplex. Seth Rollins gets away, but Nakamura kicks him and k- kicks him in a broken back. Nakamura sends Seth Rollins to the ropes, but not, but Seth Rollins war- warms him. Seth Rollins punches and kicks him in the corner. Nakamura reverses a whip to the corner, but Seth Rollins slingshots him over him over him. Seth Rollins hits the top rope and takes Nakamura down. Nakamura rolls out of the ring to recover. So Seth Rollins wipes him out with a suicide dive. Seth Rollins gets Nakamura in the ring and goes for a pedigree, but but Nakamura hits a back body drop. Nakamura kicks him in the back a few times. Nakamura puts his foot on Seth Rollins and hits a, hits the good vibrations. Nakamura lays him on the top rope and goes for a running knee running knee strike. 
but Saffron's moves. Saffron's grabs Nakamura and jumps over the top rope with a whip splash, with the whiplash on him, whip, to whiplash him on the ropes. Saffron hits a springboard senton splash. Saffron goes for a springboard Musa, and he lands on his feet when Nakamura moves. Nakamura gets out of the ring, but Saffron quickly takes him out with a suicide dive. Saffron tosses trash to Nakamura at ringside and bounces him off the commentary table. Saffron climbs the barricade, barricade for a stump, but Nakamura gets up and flips him onto the commentary table. The table doesn't break. Nakamura turns Saffron inside out with a whip into the barricade. Nakamura gets him in the ring for a one count. Nakamura stretches Saffron on the ropes before lying him on the top rope. Nakamura hits a running knee strike. Saffron turns over and Nakamura hits a running knee strike to the spine for a two count. Nakamura kicks Saffron in the mix session and jumps on his back. Nakamura applies a modified camel clutch. Saffron fights out and Nakamura kicks him in the kicks him in the spine. Nakamura peppers him with the with kicks to the head before pulling him down for a nasty backbreaker for a, for a two count. Nakamura puts um Saffron over. They bring hits a running knee. Strike to the head. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nakamura then jumps off the apron with the knee to the spine. Nakamura puts Saffron in the ring for another near fall. Nakamura continues to attack Saffron and applies a single leg grab. Saffron fights back, but Nakamura cuts him off. Nakamura goes to the top rope, but Saffron shots the chest. Saffron sets up for a near for a superplex, but then hesitate as he remembers his broken back. Saffron calls for the audible and hits a Frankensteiner. Saffron and Nakamura exchange stiff forms in the middle of the ring. Saffron close on him and kicks him at kiss him a few times. Saffron connects with a sling, sling blade before grabbing his lower back. Okay. Saffron heads to the top rope and hits a a beautiful fall splash one there fall. Saffron takes takes a few moments to recover and attacks Nakamura's spine. Nakamura gets out of a power bomb when Saffron gets out. But Saffron fights back with a short arm clothesline for a near fall. Saffron says he knows his back is messed up. It's not far from his mind. His wife worries. Nakamura doesn't doesn't need to make her worry or more. Um, Saffron slaps Nakamura in the head a few times. Nakamura avoids a stomp and goes for a sleeper. Saffron elbows out of it, but Saffron boots him back. Nakamura cuts him comes off with a second rope with a flying knee to the chest for a near fall. Nakamura becoming increasingly frustrated. Nakamura connects with a school slam. Nakamura connects with a snap snap suplex. Saffron gets out and goes for another suplex. But Nakamura gets him out. Get, I'm sorry, Nakamura gets him on the sec, on the ropes and kicks him in the spine. Before hitting a sliding German suplex for a near fall. For a near fall, Nakamura connects with a inverted exploder suplex. Nakamura sides Saffron up. Nakamura goes for a King Shouser, but uh, but Saffron counts with a super kick. Yeah, counts for a super kick. Um. Well, yeah. Sides all square. Yes, Saffron counts. Counters with a super kick for near fall. Okay. Saffron pulls Nakamura up and lays in some lays in their form. Saffron goes for a disgust swarm, but Nakamura takes his beautiful time takes his beautiful takedown and puts Saffron um puts puts Saffron in a triangle choke. Saffron tries to power him up, but his back is too hurt. Saffron is fading away. Um Saffron gets one more Breath and powers him up for a sit out power bomb for their fall. After taking a few moments to recover, they get to their feet and exchange blows. Saffron rocks Nakamura with a disgust form and goes for a close on to the back of the neck. But fin- but Nakamura avoids it and hits, hits a snap kick to the head. Saffron then wipes him out with a step up in Sugiri. Both men are down once again. 
Seth Rollins slowly pulls him, pulls him up, pulls himself up in a corner, and drags himself to the ropes. Nakamura quickly sweeps the feet. Nakamura climbs the, the middle rope and hits a line, landslide off the off the ropes for a near fall. While wow, Seth Rollins screams in pain and holds his back. Nakamura hits Seth Rollins with the king shouts out to the back of the neck. Nakamura sets up for more, for one more, but Seth Rollins is barely moved. Nakamura checks on him, so Seth Rollins defiantly slaps him in the face twice. Nakamura lays in some kicks and knees him. Nakamura knocks him to the apron. Nakamura goes for a suplex onto the ring, but Seth Rollins gets out of it. Seth Rollins then draws him with a pedigree. Which is that part I do not like. I don't like Seth Rollins' hip pedigrees. That's all I got to say. But let me continue. Seth Rollins' back, Seth Rollins back is too hurt to follow. Seth Rollins gets to his feet and tries for a stop. Nakamura kicks him in the face. Seth Rollins gets out of the roll up, and Nakamura, uh, and and Seth Rollins hits hits with a stop one two three. The winner and still your world heavyweight champion. Seth Freakwise. That match was I might as well say that match was pretty good. Matter of fact, that was a fun match. I changed my mind. That was a fun match. Fun main event match right here. Seth Rollins clearly is is in a lot of pain. Cannot muster the energy to celebrate his win. Nakamura angry pace at ringside. And so we get a video package, WWE Payback, two thousand some three highlights. And let me go over this quick match. Quick match results. Bacon Lynch defeated Trish Stratus in a steel cage match. That was a good match. Of the, that match was fantastic. LA Knight defeated The Miz. John Cena was the special was Cena was the special guest referee. Worst match of the night. Rey Mysterio defeated Austin Theory to retain the United States Championship. Boring match. The Judgment Day. Finn Balor and Damian Priest defeated Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn to win the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions. Which was the best match of the night? Rhea Ripley defeated with Crow Harigas to retain the women's champion, the women's world championship. DC match. And Seth Freaking Rollins defeated Shinsuke Nakamura to retain the world heavyweight championship. And a fun main event match. And uh <clears throat> and WWE Payback goes off the air. Okay, like I stated earlier, WWE Payback was a decent show, and I give it a six out of ten. But anyway, if you guys enjoy my WWE Payback review on highlights, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Comment down below on what are your thoughts on WWE Payback. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please pull watch the video before you connect with me the right way. Turn on post notifications. That way you will not miss not a single premiere or when I go live on YouTube Sunday and Thursday. Follow my social media, my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch, and thread. Yeah, follow my Instagram, TikTok. Twitch and Discord threads down below in the description. <clears throat> and um, if I don't have nothing to do tomorrow, I will probably go live on YouTube. That's all I got to say. But I do not know what time. But anyway, this your boy, Beaver Facts on TV. Have a great night. Stay safe and always stay positive. Kept your crew, kept your kings, kept your club. Too sweet. I'm out of here. Gang.